delicate how I approach this topic today. So I want to start by saying, what the heck? Yeah, what happened? Why did this happen? Why does this keep happening? <sighs> and I know it's more complicated. We can be hopeful that pressings will get in the hands of fans. This is great news for all the children of the and Gamber, if you thought they were just kidding about the fact that they restocked and you've been bottling it in for a long time with a lot of hellfire that you thought you would never see another variant of this. Well, there's been some changes to the very real concerns. And if you saw the amazing splatter variant as it arrived. It's here, guys. More than enough chances to get a copy of Doubt. We love it. After all the controversy, the tribulation, the trials, the ridiculous order queuing process. A little nervous hunting down the $400 original pressings, but I gotta know, which one does sound better? Be definitive up to 2023, it's gonna have the original pressing. I don't know what's going on anymore, but I wouldn't have it any other way. The vinyl shootout has gone almost a year in length, so we're happy, we're happy. I got the original pressing. This is the original O2 press. I'm making a video about it. It's the Defiance pressing. Uh, so that's oh, why I'm working on that now. That's yeah. another pressing uh, that wasn't present in the in the last video you uploaded. I had to do it. I had to hunt down the original to be complete. That's it. It's here. Guys, we're ready. Hey, howdy, hello. We already did the vinyl shootout. We already talked about all the pressings, except one. We forgot to talk about the 2002 Coheed and Cambria second stage turbine blade. Today's the day. There's always a small percent chance I could get scammed. We're supposed to be looking at the I'm so nervous. Nice bubble wrap. Just please be it. I sent an offer and um, look, they accepted it. I'm already feeling a textural difference. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is exciting. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think we can uh, we can dump the dramatic lighting there. We go. Yeah, a little damage right there. Got some fingerprints. I think it's going to sound great. I'm going to very gently get out some record cleaning stuff. I don't think this is ever cleaned. We're going to get it fixed up. We're going to play test it. And that's going to be the final word on the vinyl shootout. Well, got to be honest, we're not looking good uh, on the dish warp. Some scuffs. Obviously not graded uh, properly. I'm just going to give it a little anti-static treatment and give it a, a play test. That's all we can hope for at this point. So it's a little bit better. Let's give it a play test. Oh no, just another thing we're noticing. The center hole has not been reamed correctly. Thankfully, we got this stable 33 center hole reamer. Could be a red flag that it's a bootleg that's never been played. It's definitely never been played, but it could just be a standard O2 variant. Ugh. I don't think it's a bootleg, but you know I'm worried when I have to do this. It's never been played. The side markings are confusing. CA and CC, CO and CA. I'm going to guess Kohi is the. This side, and it's got that dish warp. We got scuffs. We're gonna go ahead and play it with a clamp. That's gonna help level out at least the center, but these edge warps are not gonna be. We'll uh, see how it goes. It might skip. Reporter Mark here. <laughs> I just have to look back because it's been a long time coming. We, we talked about every single issue. It's been a few days. We sat with it, we recorded it, just dubbed it a digital, actually. Here's what I just discovered. 2002 Defiance pressing. Is this worth it? It's not worth it if you're talking sound quality. It's just a touch softer in the bass than the 2011. This one right here. Let's notice this right now. It's really hard to tell. This is a little bit more faded on the Dragonfly wing than this. 
the silver. I don't know if that's just the silver or what. Yeah, the silver is a little bit more faded. Not to be confused with the transparent black that has the same mastering as all the, the splatter waxes. I gotta say, there's something to be said for that. The treble does explode. I'm holding to all my thoughts on it. So it's hard to tell people to go out, drop hundreds on, on the best sounding pressing, but this is, this is the best sounding pressing. This is where I would spend my money if you want the definitive answer. The Defiance pressing has the cool texture. It sounds very, very similar in a lot of ways. And it has that 2011 mastering. If that's your preference, it has the cool cover with the texture. Mine did have a skip, but I was <laughs> I was expecting way worse with all the scuffs. It is it dish warped and by no means a perfect pressing, but I don't know if you can get a 2002 for the same price as one of these green or white. I've had a better experience than the 2011 green, the 2011 white. I talked about that in the last video. And I will say I've heard rave reviews about the green splatter. I mean, there's something. Now me at 1 a.m. in the previous video was talking about how this doesn't sound any different than the other splatters from 2023. We'll say this is your best budget option. 30 bucks for this album that's been going for hundreds. <sighs> that's about it. Really appreciate you coming along for the very long journey. We'll see you back here real soon because we got tons of stuff coming, but hey, we <laughs> spent the most money I've ever spent on a record. Oh, that ain't it. This is, this is the Amazon Black. This Betty right here. Hey, we got more records to spin. Have you seen the interview I did with Atmosphere Collectibles? Please go check them out. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> go give them a follow and uh, keep on grooving your way.